a Kelsey Plum who's always angry on the court. Here comes Plum. She goes back to back. Oh, Quick five points to open up the fourth. <laughs> Little firecracker, man. She always angry. She should be pop it, pop, 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 pop. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. And praise God to get buddy back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out. We got a lot of WNBA to cover. You know, we had a night off after the Commissioner's Cup, you know, so we back at it. And speaking of the Commissioner's Cup, you know, the Minnesota Lynx were involved, and that's the game we're going to start off with today. You know, the Minnesota Lynx, they haven't lost since June 7th, I believe, you know, and they're on a seven game win streak, doing their thing led by the Fisa Collier. And, and, and and that, that seven game win streak, it included the Commissioner's Cup Finals win against the New York Liberty. You know, so they're doing their thing, but the Dallas Wings were not going. They weren't having none of that. They said, I'm not going. You know, they're led by a 23 point nine assist effort from Arike Ogubawale. You know, she was balling at a 17 to 12 rebound double double from Tierra McCowan. You know, and that put an end to the streak despite a 29 point 11 rebound double double effort from Deficia Collier. You know, and so the Wings win by a total score of 94 to 88. You know, and then so our next game was the Connecticut Sun. Whoo! That was a close game. Now, they held off the Washington Mystics in OT. They went to overtime and they, they won behind Dewana's Bonner, De Dewana's Bonners, Dewana Bonners game high uh, 24 points and 10 rebounds. You know what I'm saying? So she had a double double. And, you know, and the game went down to the wire, going down to uh, overtime, but the Sun win in OT 94 to 91. Now, another game, another record for Angel Reese. <laughs> You don't know what time it is, man. AR gets her ninth consecutive double double, tying the legendary, iconic, one of the quotes, Candace Parker. You know what I'm saying? It's arguably, you know, it's arguably her and a few others. You know, I could name go down the list, but I'll be another day, another video. We ain't got that type of time. You know what I'm talking about? But Candace Parker, she's the only other player to do so, having nine consecutive w double doubles. And Adrian Reese has become the youngest player in WNBA history to accomplish this feat. So she's doing big things, man. Another game, another record, it seems like, for Adrian Reese. You know, AR's doing her thing. <laughs> It was a huge double-double of 18 points and 11 rebounds, you know. And Marina Mabry, she contributed 21 points. And the other CC, Kennedy Carter, she dropped 20. But all that being said, it wasn't enough. Asia Wilson, the former MVP, the basketball phenom. You know, I'm talking about the real rivalry. You let me tell it between Asia Wilson and Breonna Stewart. That's a rivalry we need to talk about. But if you know, you know. But we ain't going to talk about that. That's another day, another video as well. You know, Asia Wilson, the former MVP, she dropped a game high 31 points going crazy. Jackie Young contributed 22. And Kelsey Plum, who's always angry on the court. <laughs> Little firecracker, man. She always angry. She should be popping, pop, 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 pop. Just going off, man. She drops 21 points. And, you know, you can't really beat that when you have a contribution from a three-headed monster like that. You know, you can't really beat that. And the Sky didn't, you know. And the Aces uh, commanded the entire game. And the Sky never really seemed to be like a legitimate threat during that game, you know. And Aces went by 12 uh, with a score of 95 to 83. And you know who else won by, uh, you know who else lost by 12? <laughs> Who else lost by 12 was Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever. It's crazy, right? Aaliyah Boston hit a double-double, and CC had 15 points, but the night belonged to Jew Lloyd. Jewel Lloyd, she drops a season high 34 points, and this was a great way to come out of a shooting slump. You know, she's been on a shooting slump that spanned the last few games, and this was a perfect way to explode up out of there, man. So, so, so Jewel did her thing, dropped a game high 34 points, a season high for her 34 points, and Nika, Nika Gubake, she contributed a double-double 15 points and 11 rebounds. You know, the Storm went by 12 with a score of 89. 77. So, the, like I said, the funny thing is that tonight we saw both sensational rookies and AR and CC uh, lose by a total of 12 points. So, you know, I guess I guess they really are intertwined huh? forever. They're forever intertwined after all. You know what I'm saying? But it was a rough day for the rookie sensations uh, as they both lose. But, you know, it was a great game for the WNBA. You know, and that's it for the WNBA recap. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. But hopefully you enjoy these, you know, and, and look forward to the next one because we will be dropping them consistently and highlighting all the wonderful players in the WNBA. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all be easy take care of yourselves remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing be easy the doctor's out peace from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets